Oh boy, good morning, and what a morning it has been. I'm going to try and splice in um, what I accomplished this morning into this video. It might be a little bit longer. Uh, in short, I don't know if I just say it's good and let it go, or do I go for that sweet sound that I had in this clip? If I give it even the littlest of twinge. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, it's still there. Ooh. Oh. I wonder if the screws are turning. Keep it up. We're at like 10%. Let's go down first. There's like 5%. This thing is going to absolutely fly on the track if that's what one motor sounds like. Shall we? So that sounded really nice. This is where I'm at now. I've got forward. I've got reverse. Um, and I think it's good. It's actually right on the track. I used my little wedges. These things were invaluable. I shoved them in in between the yoke and the field. And I was able to twist, turn, up, down until I got it. And then I slowly tightened the screws. And this is where we're at. There's very little power. Both sets of motors are turning. Uh, it's about 10% on there. If we go up to a little more. A little more. That's about 30. This thing is... So yeah, I mean, you can hear it. I don't know if that sound is just my uh, 3D printed stand that you hear because I, I don't have it perfectly yet. I think it's rubbing on the uh, on these a little bit. I gotta I think I gotta bring those two together and then. Up, but you know what? That's not about this. This is about this 474. So uh, let's pop it into reverse. Hold on. All right. Now here is reverse. Reverse. I think sounds sweet. Ready? That's about five, five on there. Everything's just moving. Let's get it going. Keep it up. I take that back. I take that back. It doesn't sound as good as I thought. I still think there's a little bit of adjustment to be had somewhere. Um, I do like, I think it was Yard King. Anyway, who mentioned it? Sorry, I'm moving around here. I took a, a little piece of paper, cut out a little strip, and I uh, stuck it under one of the brush so I could isolate each motor and get that motor working and vice versa. I might need to do the same so I can tweak it. But again, here's reverse. There's a little hesitation in the response of the motor there. So yeah, so I, I do think there's a little bit of tweaking to be done. So um, I'm close and I can't, not able to do it without you guys. So thank you.